So Tyler Boyd responded to Odell Beckham. If you guys did not see my video a week ago, Odell Beckham said, People really have no idea what I was going to do that day. It was going to be a day where I catch 15 balls, maybe 250 yards, and we would have beat the Bengals 42-17. to And I still, it's a week later, right? And I still absolutely find it hilarious, hilarious that he said this stupid comment, right? And again, the amazement that Stafford would have thrown I six touchdowns on our defense. <laughs> what, he needed a holding call just to get one? He needed a holding call just to get his third touchdown. Okay, listen. I get it, you know, NFL players. You want to talk all that talk because now you're on a new team and you want to act like you're the best thing in the world and you want to act like you still got it even though you haven't played in two years. I get it, right? At the end of the day, it is what it is. So, of course, Tyler Boyd said, woulda, coulda, shoulda, right? To his response to Odell Beckham's comments about he would have put up six touchdowns versus us. So, Odell Beckham responded yet again, because Odell Beckham doesn't really know when not to talk. He just kind of talks endlessly. He said, I feel that, for real, for real, but I do have a ring you coulda, woulda, shoulda had. That's the fact. So, hold up. Doesn't shoulda mean should? So, you... Should have had, right? So just take, listen to me here, okay? He's saying that this is a ring you should have had, which means, you know, the only way you didn't get this ring is because of something bad happened or something, you know, mysteric, mysterically happened, like a mysterical holding call versus Logan Wilson. So yes, I agree with you, Odell. We should have had that ring, but we it got stolen from us. And who it got stolen from? The ref's calling a holding call on Logan Wilson giving you a free touchdown. I'm just saying, I get it. It is what it is. You know what? It should have had. Yeah. And again, the, fan, uh, the comic section was roasting the crap out of uh, Boyd for this. And again, at the end of the day, it is what it is. It's just like, move on. You know? Talk about now you're with the Ravens. Talk about you being with the Ravens now. Why are you still rehashing a Super Bowl that's over with? And to the last point, he said that he has a ring. You know what? Congratulations. You do have a ring. You know who else has a ring in that, from that Super Bowl? This guy right here. Bryson Hopkins. Tight end. He's a third string tight end for the um, Rams. He's still actually a Ram. Unlike you, he's still actually a Ram. He's a full fourth round pick for the LA, for the LA Rams. Now he had more yards. Oh, sorry, my bad. He had five less yards than you in that Super Bowl. So he contributed just as much as you did in that Super Bowl with five less yards. He had 47. You had 52. So Bryson Hopkins also has a ring. Now, does that give Bryson Hopkins the opportunity to talk any crap or say that he's that good? No. But you know what the difference between you and Bryson Hopkins is, Odell? He didn't join the bandwagon of the Rams, who was obviously the best team in the league that year because they sold their soul to get a Super Bowl, literally trading every piece possible to get a Super Bowl and still needed the refs to give him it. At least he was on there the whole time. He's been on there since 2020, you know? So, technically he did join. He did get drafted that year. But Odell joined midway through the year. He joined from Cleveland midway through the year. So, at least he was there, I guess, at the beginning of the season. I don't know. Maybe that point is invalid because I just realized that the Super Bowl was 2020. But he was at least there the whole entire season rather than you who joined midway through because it didn't work for you in Cleveland, and then you were like, wow, I'm going to go leave Cleveland because now I have a problem with Baker Mayfield, and your dad saw so much crap with Baker Mayfield, releasing videos of him throwing like trash. And don't get me wrong, Baker Mayfield is not that great of a quarterback. I'm not sitting here defending Baker Mayfield. 
But at the end of the day, you know, there is a professionalism and a way to go about things. And that's not a way to go about things, okay? At least, you know, video of him sucking. That's not really a, a way to go about things. Nonetheless, though, if you watch Odell Beckham recently with his stunt on the airplane, I'm just going to say go check that out if you not checked it out already. But with this situation right here, come on, man. Like, you joined the bandwagon when the Rams already were good and successful that season. And you did contribute that season. I'll give you that. But at the end of the day, you did as much as Bryson Hopkins did in the Super Bowl. So don't... I Again, I'm past the point of you saying you're going to beat us 42-17. to 17. That's ridiculous beyond the point. It's the second point of... Woulda, coulda, shoulda, like, bro, you have a ring. Congratulations. You got gifted a ring by joining a team midway through the season. I don't know what else to say on that subject other than the fact that, you know, Eric Weddle also did that. Eric Weddle joined the team during the playoffs because he wanted to go win a ring with the Rams. Congratulations. I don't really always, I don't, I'm not always the guy who, well, you know, trash people who do that. Can I get it? Listen, at the end of the day, you want to ring chase. It is what it is, right? If you want to go ring chase and play on the best team, I always feel like do that at the beginning of the season, right? Don't do it halfway through the season and then say, oh, yep, now halfway through the season, I'm going to be on the Rams and I'm going to go help them win a the Super Bowl. Mm, I don't know. Just my personal opinion. Maybe that's not everyone's personal opinion, but... I'm hoping this story can now go to rest because, listen, week two is when we play them. As Mike Hilton said, it's week two, okay? Week two, baby. We play you then. We're going to find out everything, you know, all the unspoken rule then, which right now at the Ravens offense kind of struggling. We might not see anything from Odell Beckham on week two. But it's just funny because that was actually posted right there on Rams. Rams? Bro, this is... I'll be taking that away here, guys. I, I have a speech impediment for R's and W's. And the website name, the web, the web, web, website name is Rams Wire. You probably tell my video, I say it, Wham Wire. See, I have, it's, it's that. I, I have to really think about it when I'm talking sometimes. But RamsWire.com. That's like the worst for my speech impediment. <laughs> Anyway, I'm beside the point, guys. I will be live streaming tonight uh, for the game. Bengals versus Packers. So, make sure you come through. Check it out. I know Tom Grossi is also going to be streaming. Because, obviously, he has his Packers tonight versus all Bengals. But, it's going to be a really great game. So, overall, hold this L. Odell Beckham, as always. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.